we talk about? Yes. Hi, right, fans. Welcome to, 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 to the Last Call with Scott Hall. I'm your host, Scott Hall, on the Sanford Road trip. Heading down the road. About 5 45, something like that. What is it? Saturday night. Heading to the little spot show in Sanford, Florida. Get ready to jump on the interstate. Um, in the back, here's my guest, Mr. St. Laurent. Living Lives Larry Zabisco. Rich Young's In Search of a Gimmick. <laughs> so tell us, man. So look, he calls, he calls, he's hanging out with Larry and they're doing what they do, right? So he calls me, he calls me drooling that, man, I, I, know, I know Larry made him, you know Larry made him watch it, right? Larry, he had to, he had to sit through Larry Bruno, the whole series, whole angle. I know we had a VCR, his face just closed. Right, like tapes, right? All my good stuff's on VHS. Should transfer to CDs so the world can see you, Larry. So anyway, Rich is so enthralled oh, by this Larry Bruno deal okay. that he calls me. He's like breathing hard. I think he's like just coming up from a 900 line. He's going, you know what, man? I'll tell you what. I'm, really, I'm going to call myself Ricky Gravano. <laughs> Where are you making this stuff wow. out? Where do you come up with this stuff? Yeah, right. right. I think everybody knows that's a full oh, God. Oh, Anybody God. who knows you knows that's a full shoot. You probably already ran it by some other people. Oh, All your buzz. What do you think, man? Oh, he God. says Gravano. I go, like Sammy the Bull. He goes, yeah, yeah, he's out in Arizona. Oh, dude, this guy, you're right. He has a brilliant mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, Larry, so you've had a big impact on um, Young Rich here. So do you agree that maybe the humble bumble uh, Bruno was the way to go for this young wrestler in search of a gimmick? Well, no, you can't be quite as humble bumble as Bruno used to be in those days. <laughs> Not when you look like meat. <laughs> no, no, but anyway. Uh, look like a convict. You know, I think meat's got, uh, you know, Goldberg, Steve Austin, that tough guy, kick-ass look. Yeah. Tough, kick-ass guy. Yeah. <laughs> develop that. Yeah, especially that little tough guy part. Yeah. You haven't got me sold on that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, me, so your deal is like you don't even speak. What, do you have a manager or something? Uh, good, good, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> I know a great manager. Oh, you? He's driving right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're too big for with me. You're bigger uh, than me. You're too tall. He needs to speak. Bruno spoke, talked, and he just not much, right? I mean, he was no Ric Flair, let's face it. No Ric <laughs> Flair on the mic. On the mic. <laughs> he was just keeping it real, Bruno. He was just keeping it real. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Good keeping job, it, mate. Keeping it real. Wow, how 2000. Ledge. What's up, buddy? Give you one last chance. You want to apologize to Rick? Extend the olive branch, I perhaps. I think you're a little bit jealous. Anybody else since jealous? jealousy? Since a little jealousy? Why would you be jealous of Flair? Here he is, you know, 62 years old. 60, 61. Leaves all over the place like a stuff pig. I'm on the golf course, so who's jealous? Flair, you ain't been on the golf course yet this year. Well, then why are you lying to the fans? Fans, that's why. Right. Right. I got your back. I won't let people lie to you on my show. Well, brother. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He thinks it's funny. Anyway, the question, if you will answer, is: Is this going to be Meat's destiny to be the new Bruno? Oh my boy. <laughs> I've never seen Bruno work, so he might have been great. I don't know. I met him one time. I thought he was a little stuck up, and bitter that he'd make the huge money that guys <laughs> make these days. If he'd have been over, like, in the current era, he'd have made huge dough. I think he's bitter that he didn't. He had to do good for when he was on top. No, no, the, the guys, Cadillacs cost, like, five grand back then. Yeah, it was great. Gas was 30 cents a gallon. Brand new cars, five, six grand. Right. 50, 60 grand. Right. See, I got divorced one time. I sold the house two years later. made 120 grand. I had double the I So, so it. you're talking about divorce. So you realize it's not a fun subject to judge or joke about, Larry. Right? Subject to what? Joke about. You know something funny about it, brother? You've been divorced. That's why I ain't doing it anymore. Uh, I'll never forget the time in Parsippany, New Jersey, Larry. She was a nut. Now, this is your baby mama. You didn't marry this one. This was I never met him. This, this is out of wedlock. The child born makes him a master. Sorry, kid. Just That's just the term for it. I don't have no heat with you. But that night, your mother.
Taylor showed up at the show with a bunch of flyers. Oh, fuck. And was putting them all over the windshields of the cars. This is the true story. I was there. And then she put flyers everywhere. So we think maybe she's like trying to expose the business or something, right? But no, it's pictures of Barry. It, it is pictures of Larry literally on the bearskin rug. The, not the fabled one from, the, you know, Connecticut. This, this must have been in front of Bruno's fireplace. And Larry's got his hand over his genitals. Otherwise, he's totally naked. And uh, so he wanted to press charge. He wanted to press charges against the girl. <laughs> but, I wanted to get the cops to get laughing. But it was it was ins- insufficient <laughs> evidence. Pictures of me <laughs> insufficient evidence. Oh, it, it insufficient would, evidence. It wouldn't stand up in court. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to a diner afterwards. And some kid came up with naked pictures. Said, Will you autograph this? Any fruit oh, fall on your plate? Did you? No, I ripped it up. Oh, wow. oh, so in other words, that, in other words, she did the right I thing. Hope she's Good dead for dead. her. Oh, that's so mean. She have a baby with that lady. Yeah, well, Tim's with me now. Oh, he, is he? He hates her too. Oh, that's good. Larry, once it's again. Happy, well, I'm sorry. We're gonna end on this note, yeah. man, because <laughs> fans. Because once again, Larry's Visco bitter. I'm not bitter. He's, bitter. I'm He's jealous. He's hateful. And that's not the vibe I'm trying to send out. So we're going to close now. We'll join you when we get to the San Pacific Center for the big, what is it, match of the year, oh, brother? Oh, yeah, match what is it? What the is king it? of the state yeah. tournament. The king of the state I'm tournament. I'm not in the tournament. I'm not worthy of being in it. Well, I think we can all agree that okay. whoever booked that made a right decision. <laughs> Last call, Scott, all signing off. <laughs>